Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And I want to do a small little giveaway. It's not sponsored by PG or anything because, rip, they don't sponsor me. Um, but just a $20 pack, iTunes or uh, Apple. Winners will be picked tomorrow. All you got to do to enter is just go down in the comment section, put your in game name, your level, and what dragon you are breeding next. Because I'm curious to see what you guys are going to be breeding. I will let you guys know that I am breeding. Actually, this, not this uh, sorcerer, but wait, no, yes, this sorcerer, not this dragon, not this warrior, but I will be breeding the sorcerer during the breeding event, and I've decided I will be the idiot that does the breeding outside of the event and uh, breed the hunter outside of the event, which is, I know is very dumb, but I really want it next week. Okay, so anyways, all you got to do is that, and winners will be shown in tomorrow's video. I don't know what the video will be on, but it'll be on something. Okay, so we got Archon, Archon, hope I say that correctly, Sunrise Watcher, Mythic Earth Warrior. Honestly, interesting look, I mean, it's interesting, it's in okay, that is such a smug look, oh my, freaking Lawson, dude, that is a savage, like, that's after you roast somebody, like, after you make a savage post on the forums, this is your face, oh my. Okay, sorry, I just had to say that. Okay, anyways, um, honestly, interesting look. It kind of seems like there's a rider spot on the back, you know, like a place or like a throne. Am I getting that vibe? Is it just me? But I don't know. Anyways, it looks very royal. I like the red wings. It's kind of like a fiery look. Um, generally speaking, interesting looking dragon. Now, as far as these spells, adaptive breath. Why do they have to make everything adaptive? Okay, activate to cycle between three breath modifiers, frost breath, emulating breath, and leeching breath. No clue what that means. Honestly, sounds interesting. I'm going to assume that frost breath means that you freeze towers. Emulating breath, I absolutely, I actually have no clue. Um, and then leeching breath, I'm going to go off on a limb here and say that it like is a poison. So it like leeches either health or maybe it deals damage over time to the towers. Either way, interesting idea. You can kind of change it based on where you are on an island. Maybe you only have one tower left and you need HP or something. Interesting. I kind of like the idea. Um, adds a little bit more of a customizable spell to warriors, you know, because generally speaking, it's just like you press two buttons and that's the warrior. This one, you have a little bit more say in what happens. Kind of nice. Magic Barrier Dragon is shielded from all damage and blocks Mage Tower Super Shots, which is awesome. An amazing spell for sure. Revitalize uh, restores a large amount of health over time. I believe it is 40% of your HP in two seconds and then a four second cooldown, if I am not mistaken. Which is, for a warrior, considering that this is based on modified HP now, that is a lot of freaking HP. So if there isn't a blue mage on an island, you can basically get your health right back up, no problem. Like, it is a fairly crazy spell. Um, and then you have Elemental Resist. So, really, this guy is a tank. Obviously, all warriors are tank, are tanks. But Magic Barrier, Revitalize, Elemental Resist. Those three are kind of like stereotypical hunter tank, not hunter, warrior tank spells. You got the HP increase. You got the ability to dodge super shots and decrease all damage, correct? From all damage. The only thing that kind of mixes them up, sets them apart from other warriors, is this adaptive breath. And this is going to change how this guy is flown. Um, do I see this dragon walking through max bases? Probably not. Probably not. I'm pretty sure Magic Barrier is taken away from Ice Flax, if I'm not mistaken. So, and Ice Flax can screw this up guy, screw up this up guy, screw this guy up really quick. The one question I do have is, because Adaptive Breath is not, like, it's not a passive ability. So does that mean that Ice Flax actually take away him whatever ability the Breath does, temporarily? Because it's a white spell. It is not a passive. Or it's not like a resist. So I'm curious. Now, I will say that, for example, Lucian, the adaptive flak resist, it doesn't like... The ability is not taken away from ice flax. Like, ice flax don't change the fact that you 
um, have reduced damage from whatever flak it is. So maybe that same thing, that same concept can be applied here, but I cannot say for sure. Either way, the ice flak, like, super shot duration is short enough to where it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But I, I am interested. I am interested to see. I think that will change the way that bases will, like, defending bases will be dependent on. Like, if I was defending a base against this guy, I would basically just spam the Dark Flak and Fire Flak. Who cares about the mages? Because if he is stunned constantly and he can't use the Adaptive re Breath Resist, or Adaptive Breath Resist, Adaptive Breath, he's going to get screwed over real quick. He can't kill anything. He's just going to live. Because, I mean, Elemental Resist plus the Magic Barrier, I mean, this guy's a freaking tank. Plus the Revitalize. So if you are somehow able to kill the Blue Mage, you're basically set. Interesting. It is an interesting setup. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, am I pumped to go for this guy? Not really. Personally, I think Sakura is the Earth Hunter and uh, Itzani is still better. I would not put my Earth Gear from those two on this guy. Just my personal thing. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.